Got a minute? Yeah, sure. Hi, Charlie. Hi, excuse me. Please. Aren't you staying? Too busy. Mum's staying is done film site. It's an early done film. Yeah. Well, could we come? You'll only be in the way, won't you, Charlie? Well, maybe we could help. This isn't a game, you know. Didn't you want to go? So what's the next move, then? You heard of the Icarus Club in town? It's mine. I've got a gig on in a couple of weeks. I can give you four minutes for your number, but there's one condition. What's going on? I've got a gig. The Icarus. If you find yourselves an image, there's me card, OK? Think about it and give us a ring. And remember, image. Nice one. Cheers. Gig. When was this decided? Oh, dear Barney. Hey, this is going to be great. Aye, if this gig's for real, it will be. So has anybody got any suggestions for an image, then? Yeah, I think we should all yeah, dress up as pineapples. I think we should get rid of PJ. What? I know he looks good and everything, but you're a better singer, Dunk, and to be honest, I don't think he's really into it. Of course he's into it. We can't get rid of him. Where is he, then? You only took him on because you felt sorry for him. Listen, I decide who to hire and fire. Look, if we're going to do this, we've got to do it properly. Fine. PJ stays. Yeah. Do you think I'm daft not going to college? Maybe. But I don't know where I want, so I don't see why you should. I know I want to be with you. PJ, about what happened, the paintball I made Listen, up. Listen, that doesn't matter. But it does. I want to talk about it. It's the past. I've just got to think about the future now. And us, right? Debbie? Barney, man. Change the record, eh? But it's my band. Right. Fair enough. Image. Remember? I know. I know. <laughs> uh, Gemma, can I have a word? Let's go. Maybe we should find it to escape from any zoos. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, but I was wondering, have you lost any money in alligators recently? <laughs> this is serious. Oh, it is. Very serious. Do you think we should go to the police? So we've got a deal then. Okay, you're on. Angel, I'm going to design the costumes for the band. It's going to cost you. Uh, we'll cover all the costs. And commission. We need them yesterday, yeah? No problem. I've got loads of ideas. Come on, Lee. Don't worry, I'll get you a good deal. Gemma, can we come? Sure, but I'm in charge. Oh, come on then, Patsy. We haven't finished the game. Oh, Patsy, man, you never want to do anything exciting. No wonder Charlie doesn't. Charlie doesn't what? Never mind. I'll play if you like. Or go away. What are we doing here? I don't know. She's up with something. Yeah, I've got it. Silver five. You'll see. Pedro, where you been? You missed a rehearsal. Sorry, I went to meet Debbie. Look, it's only one rehearsal, Barney. I know, but we've only got a week to the gig. Yeah, well, I've got other things on my mind, OK? Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Get rid of a lot of them. What? You're supposed to be in charge. I am in charge. It's my band. They're all rubbish. This place is rubbish. <coughs> hey, 
You missed a great afternoon, Patsy. Just wait and see what we've done for the lads. I mean, you won't even join fundraising for that with Bandlot. Well, a sponsored knit isn't really PJ style, is it? Well, don't worry about it. We'll think of something. Off, oh, Doug. What's? Uh, I've decided I'm going to leave the band. What? Why? Doesn't matter why anymore, because there's no band to leave. What? I'm getting rid of a lot of years. I'm sick of everyone trying to run my band for us. I'm sick of PJ not being here when he's needed. I'm sick of that song. Grove Matrix is through. But we've got the gig, man. Not anymore, we haven't. Someone to see you. I've got a proper system for you. Come and talk. Alone. It's funny enough, but I miss all that jumping about. I miss it too, but it's pointless without marks on the computer. from that. Okay, but just listen up with me, break beat. What do you think? Where did you get it? Mine? Hey, because you use this. Hey, I'm using it. Ah, uh, I'll have to think about it though. Okay. Better get out of your way then. Wait! Maybe we should have a little chat first. Yeah, just a little one. I just don't think it's a very good idea. Of course it's a good idea. No one else will have thought of it, will they? No, I suppose it'll be a laugh, mate. And we'll be raising money. Duncan, I'd like to introduce me neighbour. Deal. Deal to me friends. Costumes are ready. Want to fit in? What's the point? Has he not told you? Barney sacked us all like the little big man that he is. Yeah, and like the even bigger man he is, he's giving you all your jobs back. Grove Matrix lives. The new heartbeat. Well, I think they look great. Grove Matrix lives with a new heartbeat, eh? They look like rejects on Doctor Who. Open and ready. They're very fetching. Dream on, Gemma. That cost us loads. Ten quid yours. What? You wrap us up like Christmas turkeys. Then you think we're going to pay for it? Look what you've done. Messy pigs. My Louise, do you read? Over. Mind your feet. Go shopping if you like. My Louise. Finished, I finished it. The film? Yeah. I finished Manny Warfel and Johnny come to the premiere. Are you trying to be funny? The film site called it a complete audiovisual experience. Or see you'll come. Well, maybe. Well, are the others around? Duncan in that lot? Somewhere. I'll come, Charlie. When is it? Soon. What's in it then? Look, I'm gonna find the others. Won't be long. Who's that? It's only me. Oh, hello, Patsy. I'm praying for you, PJ. Are you? Thanks. He does listen, you know. Aye. Very good at listening, is God. Not too swift on action, though, is he? You shouldn't say that. I talk to him all the time. Ah, but he doesn't talk back, though, does he? Come in. 
I can hear you. I've got an idea. I don't think this is a very good idea. It was your idea to get a photo of? Well, might not get a picture, though. Might just get our heads bitten off. Look. Forget it. and it's right outside. Oh, no, Noddy! Noddy. I hope it's quick. Noddy. Oh, hello. All right. Father thought it was a health hazard and threw it in the lake. I couldn't have that. And you couldn't be for real. Then what are these for? Rah. You all right, Ned? No, I've felt them and felt them. I haven't felt this good in a long time. You're gonna have to lose some weight. Hey, this was your idea. Yeah, no. Oh, can't we just stop a minute? <sighs> <laughs> Good to see him laughing again, isn't it? It is. It was a great idea. <laughs> Thanks, Duncan. Well, it was your idea as well. I think this is the first time that I've ever spent a day with you outside the grove. It's nice. Yeah. It is. Duncan? Duncan? I think I'm on the move. PJ? Sorry, mate. I didn't see you there. <laughs> You're all red, but not home game. <laughs> How much to pay me? No, we know. Come on, you lot, if you want to see Charlie's film, it's starting soon. So, what next? Eh? Well, we lost money hand over fist on them costumes. What next? We find something new, totally different. That's easier said than done, Gemma. We've only got a week. No! <laughs> hey, Noddy, where's the Ira? Gone. Gone? We scared it back in the sewers. Scared it back. What did you do, Angel? Smile at it. It was there. Angel was right all along. Come on, let's get you lot educated. I love war films, Jeff. 
Captain Andy Walker. Oh. Get on the bus. Come on, girls. Are you coming or not? No, I'm going for a walk. You better not keep Charlie waiting. She'll get there before us. We'll take the shortcut. Dear Lord, please look after PG. I've told you about him before. Please, let him see again. I know it's a lot to ask, but he must be very lonely in the dark. You don't normally do miracles, I know. Please, dear Lord, could you do this one for me? You two are bothering? Ah, well, we've got to support our fellow Grovers, haven't we? I suppose. Glad to be here, old stick. <laughs> Will you take your cap off, PJ? I cannot see the screen. Join the club. PJ? That's not fair. Sorry. Sorry, boy. Hope everything okay. Alright. I'd just like to thank you all for coming. Well, oh, I had no choice. My film is called The Big Question. It's wrong, simple as that. What makes you feel the need to act so aggressively? Well, as you for a start. Is it an unhappy woman? What? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No, Charlie. Not! Nori! That's enough. Charlie, turn it off. Now. Jeff, Sorry, son, just Jeff. Relax. You can't see that. Kiss it, no! You stupid little fool. You're satisfied now, are you? PG? PG? Filmed any good road accidents recently, Charlie? Don't be so childish. Come on, Charlie. You managed to get us pretty angry. So why don't you film us? That's what you do, isn't it? Make people unhappy so you can look good. Look, if you've got anything to say, why don't you stop back and make silly little kids and say it to me face? What are? Leave her alone. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. It's OK, Leah. I can find me own battles. Excuse me, please. What do you want to go and stick up for her for? It's not Charlie's fault. She didn't mean to hurt PJ. Peter Jenkins. Open the door. This is the police. We've got you surrounded. Come on, man. We know you're in there. We've seen your mum down the shops. We told her you were in. PJ? PJ. More from Biker Grove next week. Are you right? I'm all right. Now, Children's BBC is over on BBC Two for two weeks from this Monday. And if you're an anorak, then join in with our anorak. All right. And name as many of these choice programmes that you can see from this Monday. Are you ready? I know. Go. Mm. Right, well, but Blue Peter. Blue Pe Lassie. Mm. Felix the dog. Now, Felix the cat. Felix the cat. Uh, activate. Like that. Um, Biker Grove. Conan the Adventurer. Yeah, right, Pingu. Yeah. Um, Heartbeat. Oh, Are we on yet? Black Horse. <laughs> no, it's Black Beauty. Rugrats. And Motorbiker Grove. Bunny Bones. Ooh. And Uncle Jack. Oh, yes. Rude Dog and the Blue Bit. Spam Fritter. Blue Dog and the That's that all coming. Children's <laughs> BBC on BBC Two all next week <laughs> with Toby. Yeah. Mm. On the television near you. Well, it would no. be, wouldn't it? It wouldn't quite be a cinema screen, would it, Mr. Adamak? Yes? No. Children's BBC two we're on for the two Wimbledon weeks. Look forward to that. And here he is, look. I've our been doing a lot of spotting our today. Our spam-loving friend. Mm, this is, mm, if you didn't already know, mm, of course, mm, and in fact, you're probably uh, easy, careful. Oh, got a bit of spam. There's a slight problem with spam in the old throat there. Yeah. <laughs> he is the Children's yeah. BBC anorak. He is the man that claims to know everything there is to know about Children's BBC. I do. As he proved earlier in our quiz, Beat the Anorak. Oh, no, no one beats the anorak, Toby, do they? You were lucky today. He's been beaten for the last three weeks. He won today, so he's a bit excited. He's got a bit more facial hair grain than normal. I think that's part of the excitement. Stop it, Toby. You're very rude. <laughs> course... I saw you being rude yesterday. Rude boy. <laughs> now, of course, being an anorak, you must get out to spot some brilliant things, don't you? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of spotting today. I yeah. spotted this old fishing oh, annual with my favourite oh. trendy geezer fisherman. 
It's called Angler Rippin. Right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right, go easy. And what else? Well, every now and again, I spot something really interesting, and I take a picture of it, Toby. Do you? Like this one, which I spotted at Television Centre when I was being a bit of an anorak. I'm you were being an anorak. And that was you? Andrew Peters on the phone. Oh, no. <laughs> you, got, you, not, you loved it. He didn't it. see me. Went, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he loved me. I got him. <laughs> I bet he loved me to you. All right, calm down. Well, there you go. So, um, what we'd like is photographs that you can get out and about to take of the most weird and wonderful things that you've ever spotted. So, perhaps if you're going off to Benidorm, a nice photo of a bit of the old golden sand there, or um, or anything. Would you? <coughs> <laughs> bit of spam for them. Bit of spam if you see that in the woods one day. The most weird and wonderful things that you can spot when you're on your holidays or here in your local village or town. Send them in to our new feature called. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to have to mess about with my computer and oh, I'll get dear. it. There well, it is. Anyway, it's Children's BBC. What the spot have, have you, you got? got? Yep. And the address is PO Box 4567, London W1268. Oh. The most weird and wonderful things you've spotted. Get them in now. Right. Thanks, Thank you very See much. See you tomorrow at 10 past four. Bye. Bye bye. Movie action on BBC One. Nothing I can't do with a race car.